After the Chinook helicopter disaster, they wrongly blamed the pilots. He campaigned to put it right. After the post office IT disaster, they wrongly blamed the sub-postmasters. He campaigned to put it right. How are you feeling, James? Former Tory backbencher James Arbuthnot, another reluctant hero in this sorry saga. Yes, From the outset right. today, he attacked what he called post office groupthink. Yes. How they insisted the Horizon IT system was robust, robust, robust. They were operating some sort of behind the scenes uh, deception process, which suggests to me now that they were stringing MPs along in order to preserve the robust robustness of Horizon the existence of Horizon and possibly the existence of the post office. That's what I know now, but I didn't know that at the time. Counsel to the inquiry, Jason Beer, explored a meeting between James Arbuthnot and key post office executives, including the then CEO, Paula Venels, in May 2012. He said Ms. Venels made a number of untrue statements at that meeting. Paula Venels told that meeting the post office had won all of its prosecutions. Jason Beard then read out case after case to show that wasn't true. The post office knew it wasn't true. He turned to James Arbuthnot and said, did they mention that to you at that meeting? James Arbuthnot said, no. Paula Venels also said that in no case had the Horizon computing system been shown to be at fault. Again, Jason Beard read out case after case where it was at fault and again, the post office knew it. He turned to James Arbuthnot. He said, did they mention that to you at the meeting? James Arbuthnot said no. The document showed Paula Venels accusing the sub-postmasters of giving in to temptation to steal from the till. He said successive governments failed to act on years of post office cover-up and lies, hiding behind the fiction that it's an arm's length body when they wholly own it. You cannot say that uh, the dangerous dog has an arm's length relationship with you uh, if you uh, if the dangerous dog behaves badly uh, so the whole process of arm's length control is a worrying one the inquiry heard how the post office called in forensic accountants ian henderson seen here in january and ron warmington to investigate their mess but they too were stonewalled by the post office, just like MPs and governments before them. Ron Warrington wrote in 2013. They probably fear it will be career death to concede any failings whatsoever and shows my exasperation uh, in trying to get them to, in capital letters, answer the blasted questions. An email sent to civil servants, shown to the inquiry, set out how the post office moved to sack the accountants with the full knowledge of David Cameron's coalition government. James Arbuthnot told the inquiry if he'd known about this, it would have meant reopening scores of unsafe sub-postmaster prosecutions. Not least that of Joe Hamilton, supported for more than 15 years now by her MP, one James Arbuthnot. I feel a bit sad, actually, if, I, if I'm honest, that all those years were wasted where we could have, people would have been alive to get their convictions quashed. My parents would have heard me get my conviction quashed. And um, you just think when people knew, it's, it's sad. The inquiry continues in central London tomorrow.